Hey guys, uh, back again for another pomade review. Today we're looking at, what is this called, Shea Moisture Men. This is a uh, argan oil and shea butter water-based pomade. And I thought I'd check this out because it has no parabens, no animal testing, and no mineral oil in it. As you know, I'm trying to move away from uh, petroleum, petrolatum based products and products with mineral oil, which is also a petroleum distillate. So I thought I'd check this out. Um, let's, uh, let's dig into the ingredients here. I'm gonna go through some of this stuff. I've got castor seed oil, shea butter, uh, candelia, candelia wax, reading that right? Candelilla wax, coconut oil, hydrogenated castor oil, uh, carnauba wax, argan kernel oil, passion fruit seed oil, tea tree leaf oil, and fragrance. So, uh, as you can hear, uh, pretty healthy ingredients, not really any chemicals or petroleum distillates. Uh, I'm interested to see how this performs. Uh, I'm just out of the shower, shampooed my hair last night, um, and uh, it's relatively clean. I don't think I really have too much buildup. I've been using fairly light products lately. So let's dig into this and see what it's like. First thing, let's give it the sniff test. Um, so it doesn't really have a fragrance per se, more just kind of smells like the ingredients, which is not bad. Let's dig into it and see what the consistency is. So it comes out a little bit waxy. It actually emulsifies to a fairly oily consistency in the hand. Feels a little tacky going in, actually. So maybe that will translate to some hold, we'll see. The thing is, moving to some of these better quality products, unfortunately, it's gonna be hard to find products that hold as well as the petroleum or wax-based stuff that you're used to, or if you're used to old school pomades. But I haven't given up hope yet, and the quest continues. I have to say, going in, it does have a pleasant smell. It's not what I would call a fragrance, per se, like you might be used to some pomades that have a definite fragrance added. This is more Neutral. So just to show you, I haven't used a lot. Again, I like to start with a little and add as needed. The hair's still a little bit damp. Goes in easily enough, seems to comb through pretty well. Has a fair bit of shine. more shine than some of the pomades I've tried recently. So for you guys who like that real shiny greaser look, this could potentially be an alternative. Okay. Let's mess with the back. I'm trying to fold in the colic here. Tails coming together actually quite nicely. I'm surprised for as light as this felt in the hand, how tacky it feels in the hair. 
So for now, at least, I'm getting some pretty good hold. In fact, as I kind of manipulate the top here, it's got some stiffness to it already. I have a loose hair somewhere. There it is. So there you go. Um, I wish I could remember where I bought this because so far at least I like it better than I expected to. I think this was I think this was a drugstore or a department store find. So I'll have to look around for it again. I actually like this a lot. Um, I'm going to give this some time to dry and see how it performs later in the day. But right now, this is one of the better uh, non-petroleum-based alternatives that I've run across. Um, I've run across a couple of them recently, and I'm really, really excited about that. This is four ounces. This is a pretty generous amount. I can't remember the exact price I paid for this. I think it was between nine and twelve dollars. It's about average. Um, and for that amount of product, that's that's pretty decent for a newer school alternative. So check these guys out. I don't know. You might be able to find them online. Let's see if they have a website. They do list Sundial brands as the manufacturer, so you may be able to find them through there. But uh, pretty nice stuff. That's it, guys. Till next time, stay greasy and God bless.